talk about a case study. This is Jack. Jack is a two-year-old male castrate domestic short hair. He suffered a left femoral head fracture and ended up having an FHO, a very common procedure in our feline patients and our canine patients as well. So Jack went to rehab and he had a lot of left thigh atrophy and definitely he was uncomfortable. He'll place his left hind leg, but he bears the majority of his weight on his other three limbs. And that way we know that those other three limbs are gonna be uncomfortable because they're carrying the weight of the left hind. Muscle tremors were noted on the left proximal hind limb. We're gonna do range of motion. And during our range of motion, we actually measured the ability of each of his joints to flex and extend, comparing left and right to normal. So his hip flexion left and right were very different. And we actually then measured the circumference of his thigh muscles and the left was 22 centimeters around, the right was 26, so four centimeters difference of muscle atrophy. So what did we do that first day? Well, Jack got some heat so we could stretch out and um, give those collagen fibers a little elast elasto, um, elasticity. We did range of motion because we know that we want to target each one of those joints, and Jack is not really willing to do that, so we need to do it for him. He got massaged, and he got laser therapy. What did he do at his consult? <clears throat> he went over an obstacle course. He did Cavaletti rails. He did balancing on a disc for 20 seconds. He did the three-leg standing twice and he walked up the ramp once. So this is just going to demonstrate to you what you can do with your feline patients. So that's Jack. He looks a little, maybe not so happy about having to exercise. What are our goals? We want to control his pain. So he puts more weight bearing on his left hind leg. He stops relying on all the other ones, which he's going to have discomfort in. And we want to actually increase his left hind thigh girth. All right, Jack, let's go. So what do we plan to do each time that he comes in and what are we gonna give to the owner or the handler to do in between his visits to his vet? We're actually gonna use our neuromuscular stim to those atrophied gluteals and hamstrings because if he's not going to make those muscles contract, that very inexpensive machine will. We're gonna actually warm up those tissues so they have more elasticity. We're gonna do passive range of motion and we're gonna massage his left hind. We're gonna give laser to the left hip. We're gonna do our exercises consisting of, on any given time, obstacle courses, cabalettis, bounce disc, different legged standings, playing with the cat toys. So there is Jack getting his TENS treatment and at this point, he's not feeling the discomfort from um, his exercises because the pain signals are being blocked from reaching his brain. This is Jack on the BOSU. And we had... Um, in a very nice rehabilitation unit, and what we decided to do, since many animals weren't food motivated, or the whole point of them coming in was to lose weight, is to actually clicker train our patients when they came in. And Jack actually did get clicker trained. And apparently Sharpie trained. Here's Jack going over the Cavaletti rails. You can't hear, but she is actually clicking. She's got a clicker in her hand. And here's Jack going over the Cavaletti rails. Pretty good. He's got increased range of motion going over them. He doesn't mind going over them. Looks like he's actually enjoying his time. You can still see he's a little uncomfortable and limping on that left hind leg, but you know, he's getting it. He's building those muscles. And those are actually all different heights to get him to think about where he's actually placing his feet, those Cavaletti rails. 
This is our obstacle course, which you can make with anything you have. Just put a protective covering or a yoga mat so it's not slippery. Now, interestingly, when Jack first came to see us, he, um, he did have a behavior change. He was not um, a happy cat, and uh, he was a hisser. And uh, he really, um, after a couple of visits, got, um, got his needed pain relief and ended up actually kind of enjoying his rehab sessions and was much more of a friendlier cat. Now, as we know, working with um, cats and dogs, there is a difference. But I will tell you that um, Jack actually became one of our star patients. Sometimes it takes a little extra motivation, but it's very important not to give up. Just those simple movements of doing that, putting all that weight on his hind legs, it's pretty good exercise for a guy that probably doesn't do that that much. There we go. So that's awesome. Took a couple minutes, but we can do it. And underneath that is actually a peanut. So even though it is somewhat stable under the yoga mat, it is actually um, making them strengthen their core as well as their hind limbs. Okay, here's the fun part. Jack on the land treadmill, not too thrilled, but, and that is actually angled down, so the front end of the treadmill is up, so he's putting the majority of his weight on his hind limbs. But he gets the hang of it. Probably not his favorite exercise. But Jack graduated from our program and uh, went on being pain-free, which is great. This is actually one other patient, but just know that some animals, some cats don't mind the water. This is Oscar, and this is actually a hydrotherapy tub. Um, but uh, some cats do swim, and uh, Oscar came in for his uh, pain control and was actually in the tub quite a bit. Not his favorite in the beginning, but um, certainly um, you can see his left hind leg there, his little shave there. And in this nice heated water, the therapist is actually able to do the passive range of motion and sort of exercise and massage that left hind leg that would be much more uncomfortable to do out of that nice analgesic water bath.